Alicia Schultz. She is young, motivated, and knows exactly what she wants to do. I've been saying since I was like 12 years old, I want, I want to be a cop, I want to be a cop. Growing up in Malala, Alicia loved her small town. She excelled in sports and loved to compete. Yet her childhood dream of joining law enforcement never left her heart. Libby Bryant has a similar story. She also grew up in rural Clackamas County, a local kid who wanted to give back. Like Alicia, Libby felt drawn to police work. That's how I found the Clackamas County Cadet Program. Eager to jumpstart their careers, both Alicia and Libby joined the Clackamas County Sheriff's Cadets, a program that allows young people interested in law enforcement to gain firsthand experience in the field. While cadets are not sworn officers, they work alongside and are supervised by deputies. We do a lot of like community events. We go to the fair, we direct traffic. Sometimes we do more security type stuff. It's all volunteer work. We don't get paid for anything. My favorite part about it is our ride along program. We can sign up for ride alongs with our patrol deputies and kind of get to see what they do. Just to see an amazing variety of calls, how everything is super different and unique. They let us do a lot of hands-on stuff. We help write reports. I've had a lot of times where I, you know, I'm on a ride and I show up to a call and the deputy that I'm with is having me do stuff. The other deputies are like, hey, can you do this for me? I'm like, absolutely, like I'd love to. A lot of people are like, oh, that would be so stressful. I'm like, no, like I really enjoy it and it's given me a lot of background and more knowledge and experience. I can't get enough of it. The Clackamas County Cadet Program provides regular training and allows cadets to attend competitions with other agencies across the state and country. We get a lot of training similar to what, you know, full-time deputies or officers would get. We go down to Las Vegas, Nevada for XCON. It's a big competition put on by the Las Vegas Metro Police Cadets. We also go to Camp Rylea out in Warrington and compete locally with a lot of cadet posts from Oregon and Washington. I'd say those competitions are really important because it's people that you don't know, so it's like, oh, like you're on your own as far as going through the scenarios. You don't have help. You can't ask the judges, hey, should I do this? And it's great program bonding and team bonding for everybody, so I really enjoy that part. Building on their cadet experience, Libby and Alicia are exploring another sheriff's office opportunity, working as Marine Service Officers. MSOs are a full-time seasonal position open to any applicant. During the summer, Libby and Alicia spend their days on the waterways working alongside Marine Patrol deputies. We get partnered with a deputy and work a you know, full 10-hour shift with them and go out. We do a lot of safety and education, making sure everyone has their required safety equipment. For somebody like me who had never really been around boats before, that's been a super cool experience to get to see you know what a different world it is out there. There's a lot of people who are you know coming out to have a fun time but don't know all of the rules and what is and is not okay to be doing. Like one of them that we had on the upper Willamette, two jet skis crashed into each other. They were rental jet skis. People rented them for the day most likely, ended up crashing into each other, totaled both the jet skis. I was surprised they were both still floating when we got there. <laughs> So I think that's one thing that I think is cool is you get kind of a different aspect of the job. Whether they are patrolling the waterways, helping out at community events, or assisting at calls, Alicia and Libby have learned a lot through the cadet program and their experience as MSOs, lessons they both hope to one day use as they pursue a career in law enforcement. I've been able to get this training and experience that normally somebody who would put in to be a cop wouldn't get until after they've gotten hired with an agency. Growing up and living in Clackamas County and then wanting to work for Clackamas County, it just makes me even more passionate about it. It's like this is my, my area where I grew up and I, I want to make a difference here.